Very often when we move data from one variable to another variable, we'll find ourselves in a situation where the data needs to change size because the types used by the two variables are different sizes. So that could be changing, uh, taking a value that's stored in an int in C and then uh, copying its value into a long in C. Could be the other way around. Could for, go from a long uh, to an int or from a long long to a long or from an int uh, to a signed 8-bit uh, integer uh, data type. Something like that. And whenever we change those, change the size of data, different things happen. And so that's what we're going to focus on uh, in this video today. To start, I want to look at what happens when we go small. So if we take an 8-bit value and then move it into a 5-bit piece of storage. Right. So let's take a simple bit pattern like um, 1010101. So two nibbles each just alternating ones and zeros. Uh, one starts with one, one starts with zero, but that's an 8-bit value that's as good as any. Right. Uh, what's going to happen when we go to 5 bits is uh, we're just going to lose all the bits that are too high. So we're going to keep 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits and these top 3 bits here are just going to end up in the bit bucket. Now this is true whether we are looking at a signed representation or an unsigned representation. It will not matter. If we're going smaller, we're just going to truncate and lose the high order bits. So what does that mean in the end? Well, uh, originally, this bit string, if this was an unsigned number, then we would have had, um, what is this, 128 and 32 and 5, that's 165 is what we would have had there. And if this was, say, a signed machine, and pretty much from this point forward when we talk about signed, we talk about two's complement. And that's just because it's by far uh, the most common form of signed representation that we're going to be dealing with in modern computers. If this was a two's complement representation, then uh, clearly this is a negative number, and so we would have to flip all the bits and add one, um, and that would be one, 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 and one, and this would become a zero with a one added, so there'd be a one, 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 one. One of that is negative 95, at least as best I can tell. All right, so that was our original bit pattern, and it's two possible uh, interpretations. But if we go to five bits and we lose those top bits, we're going to have uh, in the unsigned world, uh, post-conversion, we're going to have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and that's going to be equal to 5. For the twos complement world, post-conversion con uh, from 8-bit to 5-bit, we're going to also have the bit pattern 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Uh, which will be equivalent to positive 5. So uh, whenever we do that, we're getting truncation. Right? And so truncation is nothing more than the throwing away of bits to the bit bucket. Now let's look at this again, uh, the same basic phenomena, but instead of going from 8 bits to 5 bits, let's go from 5 bits to 8 bits. So what does it mean to go large? Right? 5 bits to 8 bits. Uh, again, we all need some kind of uh, basic pattern, so let's start with a number that, regardless of unsigned or two's complement, would definitely have been uh, in the positive range for five bits. So we'll do um, zero. Oh my gosh, I'm miserable at coming up with random bit patterns, so I'm just alternating zeros and ones. Zero, one, zero, one, zero. Hey, that's a five bit pattern. Now, uh, if we were going to move this to an 8-bit system, now, first of all, we could see that this is 8 uh, plus 2, so this is 10 uh, or positive 10, uh, regardless if it's uh, 
unsigned or assigned, right? And the nice thing about going to more bits is we aren't going to truncate. So what's important is that we want to keep this value. So post conversion doesn't matter uh, whether it's signed or unsigned because the highest order bit in the original thing was a zero. So uh, we can just add zeros to make it eight bits. So we're missing three bits between the two, so we just can put three zeros here. Uh, and then we put the original high order bit and then the rest of the, the bits. One, zero, one, zero. So uh, pretending that white space isn't really there, here's our eight bit representation of the same five bit value. And the nice thing is, uh, because we just put zeros in front of here not to change the magnitude of this thing, we ended up keeping it positive as well because there's uh, the zero here. So whether this is signed or unsigned, uh, this is still a positive 10. So we still maintain our value, which is great. But effectively, all we did in the uh, going larger was take the original sign bit. So we identified the sign bit in the original bit pattern. And then we extended it into all the new open bit positions. And this is referred to as sign extension. And it works the same way whether the original value was positive or negative. So let's look at a negative value. Um, all right, I'll be incredibly simple again. One, zero, one, zero, one. Hey, there is a five bit value that is signed. Uh, and, uh, or that at least in a signed representation will have been uh, interpreted originally as a negative value. Right? So let's see what we got here. If, um, oh, I should, I'm not sure if I failed to note this, but with sign extension, that only matters if it's signed. So if this were an unsigned number, you just put the zeros there. If it's a signed number, we find the, the sign bit and extend it. So we're gonna do that here. We're gonna have two different things for unsigned, when we do the conversion now from 5-bit to 8-bit, we're just going to add three zeros because we're not changing the magnitude of this value. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And so we end up with uh, the same value that we used to have originally, whatever it is. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is uh, 4 plus 1 is 5. And if this um, was unsigned, then this was the 16 bit. So this is 21 originally. And we end up with 21, 21 here if we are doing this conversion from 5 to 8 bits on an unsigned value. If it were a signed conversion from 5 bits, right? So 2's complement. Uh, we should understand what the original value was. Well, we can see that it was negative because there was a signed bit that had a 1 in it. Uh, and so to figure out the rest, we can just flip all the bits. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, which we know to also be the number 10. Add 1 to it. And that means we've got negative, well, this is 10 plus 1. That's negative 11. Right? Excellent. Now, when we do the twos complement conversion from 5 to 8 bits, we're going to use sign extension. And since the sign bit in the original bit string is a 1, we are going to write a 1 in the three new holes that are created. Then we're going to copy the original bit string. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So we have the sign bit from the original here. And then its value is extended into the open holes of all the rest of these. And our hope is that this is still equal to negative 11. Because if it isn't, if we say, I'm going to give you even more bits with which to represent this value, 
Uh, if for some reason that makes us unable to keep the value negative 11, we have a serious, serious problem. So let's double check that this has worked. Uh, we're looking at the bit pattern 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and we want to know what that means. Well, this new sign bit, the 1, tells us it's negative. But to figure out the rest, we're going to have to flip all the bits. So that'll be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 1, 0 and then add one to that. That's going to be zero, 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 one, zero, one, one. All right. So it's the negative of, and what do we have here? Eight plus two is 10 plus one is 11. So this does equal negative 11. So everything works out just fine. Again, Quick recap, if you are going from large numbers of bits to smaller number of bits, regardless of the representation, you're just going to trunk away the high order bits. They're going to disappear. If you're going from a small number of bits to a larger number of bits, it matters whether it's unsigned or signed. If the original, uh, if, if your target is going to be an unsigned value, then as you create new high order bits, you're just going to fill the moon with zeros. If it's a signed value, particularly it's going to be a two's complement value, and you're starting small, and you're making new bits at the high end, you're going to fill those with duplicates of whatever was in the original sign bit, and that's called sign extension. And that process guarantees that we actually keep the same value as the original smaller version of the number.